Well, we're taking a live look at our Council Grove camera right now where it is currently 50 degrees low temperatures last night. Not really getting all that low here, well above the average, above what the average high is for this time of year. We usually have highs in the lower 40s, lows in the lower 20s, but not the case here over the last several days as we've had a very warm start to the month of February. East winds at about 13 miles right now. Visibility not looking too good here. In fact, we don't even have a reading right now on the camera, but not quite as bad as some areas further to the north here, uh, north of where that rain, light rain is currently falling for the moment. We're going to be dealing with these conditions probably throughout the entirety of today and for at least tomorrow morning as uh, we do see this rain continue to flow in here from the south and east, and that's going to keep temperatures pretty steady. Definitely not as warm as what we saw the last several days, but enough to where we should be well above freezing here. Uh, looks like all throughout the state at the very least, and and uh, I don't think we'll hit any temperatures close to freezing until probably at least midway into next week as things might cool down a little bit further. But still overall, we are looking at a relatively warm pattern here as evidenced by our live storm tracker only showing rain right now. And that's all that we're expecting to uh, fall here in the region. Good news right now is that uh, rain does not look to be as widespread as we forecasted last night here for northeast Kansas, or at least it's going to be a lot lighter here during these daytime hours. So. Uh, definitely going to uh, not really see too many major impacts from this besides that rain just being consistent on and off throughout the day. Those misty conditions as well. But you can see to the south there is still quite a bit of moisture and that rain. So we're definitely going to at least see this be a fairly prolonged event here. Uh, light rain, long duration, maybe getting heavier as we head throughout tonight and into tomorrow morning. But by noon, I'd say around tomorrow is when we should see much of that rain leave the area and it looks like we should be in the clear totals after it's all said and done should be close to an inch, maybe a little over an inch in some spots. Uh, those of us closer to say Kansas City there or Hiawatha near the Nebraska border and the Missouri River, probably not going to see as much rain, but uh, definitely increases a little bit more here as you head towards the south and the west and uh, that water vapor, a lot of that moisture, definitely not going to prevent us from seeing that rain uh, not reaching the ground, as was the case the last couple of days. We did have rain in the atmosphere, but it was much drier here at the surface, and we didn't really get that to fall. Not the case any longer, and again, uh, any rain or moisture that's in the atmosphere should be falling pretty easily. Precip chances over the next several days, as I mentioned, are going to go down here after Sunday, but uh, maybe picking up a little bit here as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. All fairly good news, though, as uh, we could use still a little bit more rain to help alleviate drought conditions, which are much improved, but still a little bit there. Uh, so good to get a little more rain here before the spring season starts. 57 for today, light to moderate rain as we have those winds gusting to about 25 miles per hour today. 41 for tonight. Rain is going to get a little heavier, but still nothing too bad here. And over the next eight days, we'll have those temperatures stay pretty mild, but not quite as warm as what we saw earlier.